Well, how's it going, YouTube? Hopefully everybody's doing pretty good out there in YouTube land. Just another day in paradise, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, there's the old trailblazer. Man, she's running good. I've had something here that's been happening, and I cannot figure out for the life of me what it is. Now, as I drive down the highway, often it seems like when I cross over the center line to change lanes, and sometimes, you know, in the center lanes where they have the uh, no passing marking zones, they actually put a little bit of extra concrete there to kind of protect it so those markings don't get uh, erased over time when you're crossing and changing lanes. And those areas are sometimes are just a little bit high, not much. But when I change lanes sometimes, it feels like something in the front end is trying to pull the vehicle a little bit to the left or right when I cross over, but on the driver's side, it doesn't happen. So this had me pretty stumped only because I've replaced the lower ball joints, the upper ball joints, I've got new sway bar end links, and I've checked all the bushings that I could uh, see and uh, checked things that I thought may be bad when I did all this work. And I overlooked something on the top and a lot of people overlook this and they still can't figure out what's going on. Sometimes you just gotta get a tool and get in there and start prying. Now if you look here, and I've got my light out here today, it's kind of a cloudy, a dark December day. You can see the upper uh, control arm here. And like I said, I replaced the upper ball joint and uh, everything seems really good. I can sit here all day and shake this wheel and it is stiff as a board. So I got to looking up in here and I wanted to see, well, maybe one of the bushings on the control arms is bad. The pulling seems to be on the passenger side. And check this out right there, folks. You see that right there? That's a bushing and that's an upper control arm. And watch this. I got a pry bar here, and I'm gonna kinda of go in here, check this out. See that? This is the root of my swing on the highway. If I zoom in just a little bit more, you can probably even see the bushing where it's damaged. Look at that. And you can see the whole arm moving. So I found the root of my swing on this Trailblazer. Now, if you have an SUV, you're having the same problem, and you've checked everything, don't overlook these bushings. They go bad more often than you would think. Now, this bushing here is the back one on the uh, passenger side, and if I pan back out here while I'm shaking this, you can see this tire actually moving. Okay, so now I'm going to pry on this and watch the top of this tire as I shake this and check that tire out there. See it moving? So, I have found my problem right there. Alright, now here is the front one and you're probably not going to be able to see this, but if I put a screwdriver in here and just kind of pry, check this out. <laughs> There's a half inch of movement there. That is crazy. So, I've been driving this thing the whole time thinking it was just my imagination and that's the way this thing was going to run. So the lesson here is if something doesn't feel right, trust your instincts. There's probably something bad. And now for the fun of it, this is the driver's side and I thought, well, better come over and check this side because you know if that side's bad, a good chance the opposite side is bad. So check this out. It's bad too. See that? Okay, so let's check the front one on the driver's side here. And right there is the bushing. Let's put our pry bar in there and see how much play we got. And it may be a little hard for you guys to see, but definitely got a little play in that one too. Let me see if I can switch the angle here real quick. It's kind of hard to get the light just right, but if you look right there, see that? <laughs> that is just crazy. So. Uh, this is good news for me. Why? While well, you're saying, why is this good news? Well, this is pretty easy to change, and uh, I've got new ball joints already on this uh, control arm, but I can probably get this whole unit now on eBay probably fairly cheap. So this upper control arm is fairly easy to change out on these uh, trailblazers, and right there is one of the bolts. And once you get those out, uh, this whole unit will come out once you get the uh, upper ball joint off which is right there. All right, so uh, I guess the lesson here is, like I said earlier, if something doesn't feel right, get under there and get a pry bar and just kind of move things around. So this really makes me happy. I can now get the uh, upper control arms uh, put on here and drive this to the winter because that was the only thing that was bugging me. I love to have my front end in perfect shape, especially when you're driving in ice and snow so you don't have any swaying issues. 
So over the next few days when I get my new parts in, we'll uh, go ahead and replace this and I'll make a quick video if you want to see it. And if you do, let me know. And if you have an SUV or an automobile that sways when you cross over uh, changing lanes or you get on uneven pavement and it feels like someone's trying to push the front end, maybe a little to one side, just a little bit to annoy you. <laughs> well, do this, get under there and check some things, okay? So uh, hopefully this will help you out. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. And thanks for watching and have a great one, everybody.